federal judge has ruled all bets are off when it comes to the Seminole Tribe's online sports betting operation. But we checked, and the app is still active. Local 10's Glenna Milbert, live to explain what is going on, Glenna. You know, Louie, that's a good question not a lot of people can answer. You're right, app is still live despite even this latest order calling online sports betting in Florida illegal. Clearly, that is a win for Magic City Casino and also another in Benita Springs that brought suit against the federal government. They were able to show a judge that their businesses are harmed by this. The gamblers streamed into Magic City Casino mid Thanksgiving morning. Owners here had already won for the second time this week. A federal judge denying their competition, the Seminole Tribe Casinos, a request to stay her ruling. And so the tribe's new online sports book remains illegal. It was an un unsettled legal uh, issue. The online betting monopoly was the unprecedented centerpiece of the governor's gambling compact with the tribe, meant to score the state an initial $2.5 billion by giving the Seminoles a gaming exclusive, as long as the actual servers for the online betting stayed on tribe property. Well, the U.S. Department of Interior, which oversees tribal gaming, let it slide. But the judge ruled betting is taking place off property, and that's a violation of federal rules. Back in Magic City, owners had made the case that the tribe's monopoly on online betting would hurt its decades-old business. The survey they commissioned had customers saying they'd shift a significant amount of betting online. The court acknowledged economic losses on both sides of the equation, but ruled Magic City was on the side of law. You will not be surprised to know on this Thanksgiving Day there are no public comments from any of the entities involved. And really one of the answers that's also hard to come by is what happens to these payments that the Seminole Tribe is making to the state of Florida on the new compact now that the judge has ended the compact because of the component of online gambling that she has called illegal. I'm Glenna Milberg live in Miami today, Local 10 News.